From the islands to the coastline to cities further inland, Ian's impact is catastrophic. It's just gone from tropical storm to hurricane again after leaving a trail of destruction across Florida. The number of lives lost isn't known and probably won't be for a while, but President Biden today said Ian could be the deadliest hurricane in Florida's history. More than two and a half million homes and businesses there are without power right now. This satellite image is showing the amount of light on Monday compared to today. The governor says there's no timetable for restoring electricity. Mm. Now, among the more startling images of Ian's damage, this causeway leading to Sanibel Island, a chunk of it simply collapsed into the Gulf and sections of the road leading to the causeway look like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie with just chunks of pavement torn apart and then scattered. Farther inland, the Orlando area has severe flooding there. More than 100 residents of the Avante nursing home had to be rescued when flood water started to rise and the power had to be turned off before water reached the electrical sockets. In another part of Orlando, rescuers on inflatable boats have been going door to door rescuing people and pets. Mm. Others believe it's safe to stay in their homes as long as that water level stays as it is now. Has it reached your floor? No, it's not inside yet. Uh, all of our, and, uh, again, there's other people around. We've all been waving and m checking in on each other. We're all mainly concerned about our cars <laughs> because our cars are shot. In Fort Myers, boats were flung around like toys. Just look at that as, as seen in this drone footage over Legacy Harbor Marina. Dozens of boats that were in the water ended up on land. And in some cases, as you see, they're on top wow. of each other. That's just an example of the type of devastation our Kim Adams has seen in an area that's so important to so many Metro Detroiters. Kim is live in Fort Myers. Kim, you had the chance to do, uh, we'll call it a little bit of a welfare check on behalf of one of our viewers. This is part of the reason why we are here to help those people back at home that have loved ones here do wellness checks. Right now, they are still doing active search and rescue efforts here in Fort Myers. As many as 1,000 people or more are still trapped in their homes. They had a 12 foot storm surge here. Residents continue to put blankets and rugs outside. They had about four feet of water in this home behind me. And because 911 is so overwhelmed with active search and rescue, rescue, they don't have time to do wellness checks. So when one local four viewer reached out begging us to go check on her mom, we knew we had to go. Jen Baffey of Plymouth knew her mom was in the direct path of Hurricane Ian. When she hadn't heard from Mary in days, she messaged me on Facebook. And I sent you a message and you messaged back so quickly. It was so great. And then you said, all right, we're going to go find her. After driving around earlier today, we knew getting to Mary wouldn't be easy. The city she lives in, Rotunda, sits near Charlotte Harbor, right where the eye of Hurricane Ian came ashore yesterday afternoon. With winds of 100 miles per hour, torrential rain, and 12 to 18 foot storm surge, there was good reason for Mary's daughter and two sons to be worried. As we got closer to Port Charlotte, the damage got much worse. Street flooding made it nearly impossible to get to Mary's home. But finally, we spotted her. Are you Mary? I am Kim Adams. Yes, I am. Are you Mary? Oh, your daughter Jen is so worried about you. <laughs> Mary and her beloved dog, Sunny Girl, rode out the storm alone. And despite some damage to her pool screen and a few shingles, she's doing just fine. Jeremy, Jonathan, Mama's doing well. You, you made her a tough mama. Without cell service, Mary hasn't been able to call her daughter or her sons. So we had her record a message and then went to a location where we could FaceTime Jen with the good news. We found her. Oh, thank you. She's, thank you. You're welcome. Can you hear me, Jen? She's safe. She's okay. safe. She's totally fine. She was out in her front yard, just sweeping around, picking stuff up. She had Sunny Girl with her. Yeah, Thank she's cute. Mary is why we came down here. When we first got here, a lot of uh, a lot of folks were like, "Why is a Detroit crew here?" Uh, this this is why. Uh, just to show you how fortunate Mary is, there's a 12 to 18 foot storm surge where she lives, strong enough to put this boat in an apartment complex near Fort Myers Beach. That's the kind of damage that we are seeing all over Lee County, 
Again, active search and rescues underway as of 2 o'clock this afternoon. The latest update we got was that more than 500 people have been rescued in Lee and Charlotte County alone. That's where that's where Mary lives. We wanted to get to more local four viewers that reached out to us asking to go do wellness checks. The roads are impassable. Even the search and rescue teams, even the EMS cannot get through to people's homes tonight. Oh, my heart breaks. It was so good for you to be able to find Mary. So good, good job on that, Kim. I could hear your voice cracking a little bit. That had to be pretty emotional for you as well. Yeah, you know, I tried to make it through all of this without yeah. crying. No one wants to see me cry <laughs> on TV anymore. Um, but it's hard. The, yeah. the reality of it is setting in. People are in shock right now. Right. It will take a couple of days for them to realize the magnitude of what's going on. Right now, they're just in survival mode. Mm -hmm. But once it becomes days and weeks without gas, food, yeah. electricity, no cell service, you feel completely cut off here. The only time we have cell service is when we power up to do these live shots. Uh, that will become wearing and, and yeah, daunting on the definitely. people here. And that's when they're really going to need our support. I, I wish I could have gotten to more of our local four viewers. Um, we're we're going to do our best. We, we yeah. tried to get to as many as we could. Yeah. Well, we appreciate everything that you and your photographer, Norm, have been doing. So yeah. thank you so, so much, Kim. We appreciate it.